What is up, guys? Yes, my crazy butt looks like this. And yes, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I don't even care, for real. I'm on fire today, and I feel like if I stop going now, what if I miss some good stuff? Like, we can't let that happen. So I'm going to try and take you guys along with me. I got all my um, supplies. I got my handheld. Oh, Shannon, take your finger off the freaking lens, idiot. I got my handheld um, thingamabobber. What's this called? Tripod. <laughs> it's late. It's almost 11 p.m. Your girl's tired. And then I got this handheld one with the light and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and I got my trusty old headlamp here so I figure I'll probably just use this um, lighted one for looking in the dumpster and with my headlamp and then I'll hold the um, camera with this stabilizer um, and tripod so wish me luck guys I'm going diving and it is freezing here. I probably should have put a couple extra layers of clothing on because these Victoria's Secret PJs that I got for $3.50 at Goodwill on the blue tag special just aren't very thick, but we're going to make do with what we get. Um, I don't plan on staying out very late. I'm tired. I'm always tired. When, when do I ever come to you guys and say, oh my God, I'm so awake today? Never. So, all right. I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to focus on the road. And because I'm old and I, these eyes just ain't what they used to be. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going to drive, hit up some dumpsters. I don't know. I might just go back to my old spots and see if maybe... I can get a candle score, man. I'm dying for one. Plus, I want you guys to see, like, the awesome candles I can get when I can get them. So, I think that's my plan. I'm going to head back out that way, which it's only, like, a 20-minute drive for me. So, eh, not too bad. And then I'll hit up a couple around me, and I'll try and take you guys with me. Um, it's just hard, especially at night. I don't want to get busted. Um, you know, police during the day would probably be more forgiving than at night when you're like in black and like looking like you're trying to rob the place. You know what I'm saying? So, I sorry guys, guys, couldn't shortly. record while I was out. What is up, YouTube family? Say hi, Kylie. Hi. <laughs> She's my helper today. So, you guys, oh my God. I could not stop last night. I was like, I am on like fire and if I stop I feel like I'll lose it so of course my hair is a mess but I did my makeup a little bit for you guys hey and I got out of my pajamas <laughs> it's like 10 30 in the morning and we're we were all still rocking our PJs but that's okay um Fridays they don't have preschool so it's our like day off on the week Mondays and Fridays so I went back out dumpster diving last night, and when I tell you that I hit the mother load, I hit the mother load. Hold on, I'll, I'll bring the camera over to you, okay? So, I hit up Aldi's, Ollie's, Bed Bath & Beyond, CVS, which there was nothing in CVS, um, and I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like. Oh, I tried um, Big Lots and Dollar Tree, Dollar General. There was nothing in those. But I hit it major in Bed Bath & Beyond and Ollie's Dumpster. Let me show you what I got. Are you ready, Kai? First is something for my little ones. This is a mini fishing rod for kids. And look, it has everything in it you need. Um, there's like little, I don't know what any of this stuff's called. Just so you know, look at those bags. Girl! It's because I didn't get no sleep. I was out dumpster diving like a moron until 2 a.m. But there's little lures on here. The little bobbers. I think they're called bobbers. Here you go, baby. So I got that. Here, let me see that one. 
This is a draft stopper. There is a little rip in it, so my mama-in-law will sew that for me, right, Sandy? Please. <laughs> I'm keeping her busy with the sewing. I'm sorry, but I had to have it because we could use one of these. I have one actually down here, but I could use another one upstairs. So, hey, I grabbed it. It was free, and there's just a little rip, and we can fix that, no problem. Well, she can fix that, no problem. Maybe you should teach me how to sew, Sandy. Maybe that would be better. Um, oh, and I went to Office Depot. This is the only thing I got from Office Depot, which is like a file holder. But I figured me and my hubby could put all our important tax stuff in here for the year, or we could just put our bills in here. I mean, our bills are not that, we don't have that many bills, but we could do that. Anything, I don't know. I'll ask him what he wants to do with this. But I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> Next, I went to Plato's Closet. Forgot about that. And I was like, oh man, there's so many shoe boxes in here, like Nikes and Jordans and Sperry's. Well, all I got was a crusty pair of Vans, men's size 10 and a half, but I have a secret to these. This is a cloth. I'm gonna wash them on a gentle cycle, and then I take my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just scrub this, and they'll look brand spanking new, and wash the shoelaces. Then I'll sell them for like 15 bucks online. Hold on, we'll get to that one. Um, let's see, oops, put that one up so you don't trip on it. Okay, next, um, <clears throat> Bed Bath & Beyond. I got this awesome pot, pan, whatever you wanna call it. Real deep, real heavy, real thick. I'm thinking I could use this to cook bacon in. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna clean that bad boy up and we'll use it for that. Perfect, brand new. Um, I also, oh, Big Lots. I did get one thing from Big, two things from Big Lots. I got a one panel curtain, which it's like this baby blue color. I was hoping to get the other one, but for some reason they left this one, but ripped all the other ones, shredded them. So you left me one. Thanks, Big Lots. <laughs> but I'm sure um, somebody could use this or I'll donate it, whatever. Goodwill always likes that stuff. The second thing I got, hold on, is for my girls, for their bedroom, in this bag, let's back up, baby, are two comfort, what is this, cooling pillow, memory foam. There's two in here. So, what's awesome is the bag was closed, but this cover, Where's the zipper? Didn't we see a zipper? Yeah. yeah. There is a zipper right here for the cover. I'm gonna unzip this cover, sanitize it, put it back on. The girl's got a fresh clean pillow, plus a pillowcase over top. But how cool is that? And it was on the top of the dumpster, not like down underneath in the dumpster juicer. I would not let them have this, obviously. But because there is a cover on this and I can wash it, absolutely. Sanitize setting, good to go. Two pillows. Memory foam. These are expensive, so I don't know why they threw those out. But I'll take it. Next, we got this Simply... Oh, this was from Ollie's. I think everything else I... Yeah, everything else I got is from Ollie's. This is a um, humidifier and an essential oil... <laughs> I'm tired. Can you tell? Essential oil diffuser. Can I talk? It says on the top that it doesn't work. Well, it's the, there was tags on all this stuff that said it doesn't work, and guess what? It does, I tried it all. Oh my God, I got stuff upstairs. I'll have to take you upstairs too, because I have three things upstairs. So all this takes is batteries. I'm not sure, I have the directions, but there's just some batteries in there, so there's nothing to plug into this, so it probably just needs new batteries. That's usually what it is. And then when people buy new vacuums and stuff and they say they don't work, um, you have to charge them first when they're cordless, FYI. So thank you to those guys that did that because now I have a bunch of stuff. Um, I also got the super cute polo hat, which will go to my little baby nephew, I should say, Harrison. And look at this one. It says MVP. How cute is that? 
So, Harrison's getting some new hats after I sanitize these, of course. I would never give him anything without sanitizing it. That's my little babers. All right. Um, next. Let's just pan you over here and show you all this. All oh, wait. Let me show you this one first. So, this I can't pick up because there is glass on it. But I'm going to pan you down. Look at how gorgeous this is. Now, all I'm going to do is take all the glass out because behind it, there's nothing. There's no cardboard or anything. And you can just use that as decor. You don't need the mirror. Just use it as decor on your wall. So, yes, please, I'll knock all that glass out. Be good to go. I actually had one like that, um, and I gave it to my aunt. So, I think she wants this one, too. So, Shell, if you want it, it's all yours, boo. All right. Next, we have the Hall of the Century. So, we got... Let me pan you over. We got this, I think it's called Bolt. Two-in-one lightweight cordless pet vacuum. It says, tried charging, wouldn't turn on. Really? Because I just used it, and it's fine. So, there's two, there's, it actually has a little, um, what are these called? Dust buster. <laughs> You can take this off and use it. I needed one of these so bad just to like get into my couch. You know what I mean? And there's the bottom part. So look at this. Turn it on. Works. Picks up. Oh, it works good actually. I charged it for over. No, did it? No, I charged that one for 15 minutes. I charged the Dirt Devil overnight. Look at this bad boy, huh? And this is called the Vac. Let's see, can I get you in there? The Vac and Dust Cordless with Swipes Washable Microfiber Pad. So you can vacuum and dust without a cord. So this is chargeable. Now, there was only one cord in between both boxes. I must not have seen the other one in the dumpster at night at one in the morning. <laughs> So there was only one. I'm sure the other one's in there. But the good thing is these both take the same cord. So hallelujah on that. Okay? Okay. So this actually just comes off and I can throw it right. I already used it. See, it's dirty. <laughs> um, you just take this off and wash it in your washing machine, dry it, and then boom, you're good to go again. So that's actually awesome. And the one with the, um, why can't I talk today? Because I'm tired, guys. I'm so tired. Feel bad for me. No, don't feel bad for me because it's my own damn fault. But this one has the dust buster. And I really, really, really wanted one of those. I just told my husband, I was like, we should get a dust buster because we need to get like in the couch cushions because of these two eating like cheese curls and fishies and all that stuff ends up in my couch cushions. And that's just wonderful. So, next we got, Kylie wants to show you, we got a pet gate. Here, let's take them over here. This is an extra wide pet gate. It says it was damaged. Um, where? Where's their damage? Because I looked and there's no damage. Um, I don't know if the hardware is here, but I haven't checked in the box. But I don't know if you even need hardware. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's little suction cup things on the end, but I'm sure you could buy those somewhere. Not a problem. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot. But my friend actually might need that. So, hey, Megs. So, if her um, and her boyfriend need it, because they have smaller dogs like Minpins and Little Hammy, which is a Chihuahua. So, they said that they could squeeze through. And these are really small openings. And look, there's even a tiny little pet door here. How cute is that? But, ow, you just hit me with that, Kylie. <laughs> so I don't think their dogs could get through that. So they might want to take this one and maybe return the other one they got. Save some money, guys. Okay, next, I'm so excited about this. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. My husband's going to be like, Shannon, where are we going to put all this stuff? Like, we do not live in a mansion. Please stop bringing stuff home. You've got to sell it. But it's a towel warmer, guys. 
a towel warmer. So you just plug this bad boy in to the wall. This heats up and there's some um, hardware, like see the little legs here. So there's hardware and all the screws for the legs that you connect. And then you just stand that up in your bathroom. And then when you come out, your towels are nice and toasty warm. So how about that? I thought that was pretty dang awesome. Um, what else did I get? I think that's it for down here. I got to take you guys upstairs. Actually, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go grab what's upstairs and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. My girls are showing you. These are two brand spanking new heaters. Here, let me see one. It's called Easy Home. The temperature can be adjusted. There's an on, off, low, high, and just a fan. I plugged both, I got these both from Aldi's dumpster. Brand new, brand new. And I don't know why they threw them out. I don't know if it's because like almost end of the season, they're getting rid of all their heaters. I don't know, but I'm sure these weren't cheap. And I even dropped one on the ground trying to get it out of the dumpster because I was like, I'm not getting an Aldi's dumpster. Uh, -uh. I have some, you know, whatever that's called in myself. I don't know what the word is. I'm too damn tired, but you guys know what I mean. So yeah, I wasn't getting in that dumpster. So I had to like use my little broken golf club and like get in there and the cords were tied up and like pretty little bows with like the zip tie. So I was able to scoop it and pull it out and then one dropped on the ground, but it still works just fine. It's actually like cranking the heat out. Like, woo, it was hot. So these both work and I will sell one and keep one. And then my husband, works for the steel mill in Pittsburgh, one of them, and um, they work inside like a little shanty. It's like a little box almost. So it gets very cold and then it gets very hot in summer. So, okay, sorry, where was I? Phone call I had to take. Um, so yes, my husband works in the steel mill and he's a steel worker. Oh shoot. <laughs> where in the world was I? I'm so tired. I need to start drinking coffee. Yeah. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, so my hubby works in the steel mill. He is a steel worker. And they have this little shanty that they work in. It's like a little box, pretty much. And he does most of his work from inside there, but some out in the temperatures. But there's no heat or air conditioning in those shanties. So it gets very hot and it gets very cold. So I found another heater. This one is not as pretty. Um, they did exit out and try to like ruin it, but girl, I don't care. It's going to my husband for his work. He don't care either. As long as it keeps his butt warm, he'll be happy. And it's small enough to where it won't take up a lot of room in the shanty. And it's electric. You just plug that bad boy in. Um, the temperature, there is a temperature dial on the top, so you can go all the way to hot. You can cool it down a little bit. And I'm sure if you take it all the way down, it's cool, and it won't, it'll blow cool air. So this might work for them for summer, too. So you're very welcome, Jeffrey, and your friend that you work with, whoever it may be. He works with different people every day. So you guys are welcome. I'm keeping you toasty warm. But that is my haul. And I cannot believe I got all of this stuff last night. Like crazy. If you guys could have seen me diving, literally diving in dumpsters. Oh God. It was crazy. I laughed at myself a lot. I had a great time by myself. It's my me time. You know, I don't get a lot of me time. So I was like, this is awesome. Like, let's go see what this store has. And let's go over here. I didn't want to stop. And then I looked at the clock and it was 2 a.m. And I was like, oh my God, I got to get home. My girls get up at like 7.30. So yeah, this mama's tired. But I'm a happy baba because I got all this stuff. Watch. <laughs> I got all this stuff and I'm going to make a profit because I'm going to obviously sell some of these things. I'm not going to hoard them and keep everything. The pillows I'm keeping, one of the vacuums I'm keeping, the other one I may be selling or giving to my aunt, I'm not sure yet. The puppy gate I'm going to be giving to my friend, most likely. If she doesn't want it, I'll sell it. Um, I'm keeping the small white heater for my hubby. I'm keeping one of the black heaters for myself for on the sun porch because I smoke out there. 
I know, I know, bad habit. And then I'm gonna sell this one. And the towel warmer, oh, I would like to keep that, but I think I'm gonna sell it because our bathroom just isn't big enough. So yeah, a lot of this stuff I'll be able to sell and a lot of stuff I'm gonna keep. The pillows, of course, I'm gonna keep for my babies. I'm just gonna wash these covers in the sanitary mode in the washer, throw some pillowcases on them and we're good to go. So that is my haul today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have yet not, if you, God, why can't I talk? Okay, let's edit that out, Shannon. All right, if you have yet to subscribe, please subscribe. All you gotta do is click that button down below. Click the bell next to it for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my haul. I, I did some hard work for this, okay guys? I was legit in the dumpster, in my PJs, diving for all these goodies. And man, did I score. So I think I deserve a thumbs up. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Um, and that's it. So thank you guys that have always commented on my videos and saying awesome and we love you. You guys warm my heart and I appreciate that so very much. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Kylie, would you like to say anything? You want to say bye? Bye. Say bye, YouTube family. Go ahead. Bye, YouTube family. There we go. Bye, YouTube family. We love you. Ah, keep on diving.